<laughs> thought I was filming it, I wasn't. Let's try this again. I went to Hobby Lobby today. I haven't been there in probably a couple months. Um, I've been going to Michael's. Uh, but I went there today because um, my sister has a sketchbook that I was kind of impressed with that was from Hobby Lobby. And I didn't realize like these little gray sketchbooks that they make, these are made with smooth Bristol paper. Bristol. So this is comparable to the ELO sketchbook that uh, is somewhat popular. So it's extremely heavyweight paper, but also very smooth. And it has a, it has a ribbon. Look at that. I love, I love how bright it is. I went there because I needed pencils. Sort of, I needed pencils. <laughs> I wanted pencils. And they have this. Faber Castell Pit Graphite Matte, which is indeed matte pencil. Like, it's, um, yeah, it says for reduced reflection on paper. So the idea is it's not as shiny as graphite is. I don't know if that's true or not. I've never seen this, never heard of it. From this brand. I've seen other companies do matte black pencils. Um, Krita Color, I think it's Krita Color. <laughs> anyway, Krita Color does one, it's called Nero Extra Soft. I mean, it's, the company is Krita Color, the line is called Nero, and then this particular one is Extra Soft. Um, and then I think I tried one from Stadler maybe, that's supposed to be not shiny, but Krita Color is the one that has been the best for me so far. But I'm very curious about this. I like Faber Castell. I like them a lot. So um, I was also, <laughs> and of all my years of being an artist and studying art, I've been. I think I took my first art class like 14 or 15 years ago. Um, this is my first time owning uh, a 14B pencil. <laughs> It goes, this particular set goes from HB, that's the hardest, all the way to 14B. So, I've never had a pencil that soft before. <laughs> Ooh, this one's like hinged. Wow. I only have about 10 million of these. <laughs> Let's see how they do. I'm gonna get a regular pencil here. Here, I've got like a regular uh, Faber-Castell, it's the 9000 line. Um, I think that's I'm saying that right. Anyway, this is like, this is the nice one. That's a 6B, let's see how it compares. Okay, so what's the best way to like show you the glare? Gotta find an angle, there we go. Okay, see how shiny it gets? good pretty good range I I still love how you can I feel like these seem shinier but I think it's just because they're lighter to begin with so they just yeah anyway well those are really look how black those are I went to the thrift store today I have been wanting a new scanner, like one that, like a, just a flat scanner. That's not a scanner, printer, copier, fax, whatever. Just something really small, flat. <laughs> and I couldn't convince myself to buy a new one because I have a scanner printer that works. It's just huge and clunky. But I went to the thrift store today and found this. I did a quick Google of the, of the model and it, it like online this is like a hundred dollars um, a little bit less if it's used but still around a hundred dollars 
But if this like just kind of works, even if, I to, even if I have to scan to my laptop or my desktop, do you want to know how much I paid for this? <laughs> $12. So if this works for $12, I'm going to be very excited. So I'm going to test this out. put this up on screen but I, I tested the scan on my iPad and it's so good it captures all of the texture of gouache and this actually I what I will put up on screen is an unedited scan because these colors are so good as is all right well today's the best day ever I have wanted a scanner like this for so long and it just seemed like such a silly purchase. Since I have a scanner, it's just that it's big and I didn't like how big it was. But now I have this guy. We can put stickers on it too. All right, it is a beautiful sunny day, but I'm feeling like a little bit burnt out. <laughs> and I feel like it's, it's not like it's a weird, weird kind of burnout because it's not from working too much or drawing too much, but I just feel like I was thinking too much this week, specifically yesterday. Like I just, I felt like my brain was in high gear all day yesterday and this morning I just don't want to do anything. <laughs> so I am going to go to a coffee shop. I'm bringing my sketchbook and the book that I'm currently reading, which is... Uh, Daniel Deronda, Deronda, yeah, and my sketch stuff. So that's all. <laughs> this is all I'm bringing. So if I get the urge to draw, fine. If not, I've got my book. So yeah. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> today is one of those days. I have drawn several things now that I know objectively are good drawings and I'm still feeling kind of meh about them. Uh, we're gonna try the tried and true method of, you know, improving your mood by a little retail therapy. We're gonna go to Michael's and buy some pencils, maybe buy some, I don't know, just buy something to 
for fun and inspiring and because why not? I have a $10 off coupon. It's, you know, the sky's the limit or like $10 is the limit. <laughs> but I thought I would hop on here real quick and share some thoughts. I have no idea where I stand vlog wise. I'm pretty unsure of <laughs> my video footage. Um, but I had some thoughts while I was driving home from my day job today. So I'm gonna share them. Pencils. Um, so today I was thinking just kind of randomly how fun it would be to pencil my comic pages at a large scale, which is what I used to do. I used to do like 11 by 17 sheets of paper for my comic pages. Um, and now I pencil them in my little moleskin sketchbook and then I ink them on my iPad. But anyway, on the way home, I was like, oh, I miss drawing so big. And I miss having the physical finished pencil page. So I was thinking that would be kind of fun to do just, just for kicks. I stopped at Michael's and got an illustration pad. I have manual focus on. Anyway, an illustration pad, which is smooth. This one is smooth Bristol. They also have vellum Bristol, which has a little bit more texture. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Um, because I, I kind of want to try penciling this current episode at this scale. I just, I kept thinking of reasons why it would be good. So I think we're going to do it. Pages are scanned and posted on Patreon. While I'm here, I'm just gonna go ahead and upload them to my Google Photos because then they're already there when I'm ready to start inking on my iPad. Is there a reason I'm not lining up my camera to this grid? Yeah, I'm lazy. Anyway, um, you can get a better angle. I did get a package in the mail. I'm gonna open it. It's from Moo. Ooh. 
Oh, here we go. Okay. There we go. Wow. Oh. Oh, camera's, camera's falling. No big deal. No big deal. We got this. So here's the January postcards. Get close up with these details here. So this postcard goes with this sticker. It's my New Year's, <laughs> my New Year's theme. It looks pretty good. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, it is off-center technically. <laughs> this white border is bigger than this one. I don't know if that was me or them, or if it's just, nah, yeah, it's all of them. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave it as is. If this were like a fine art print, people were paying like fine art print prices, I would be picky about this border. But I figure either this is being taped on a wall or someone might put it in a frame, in which case you won't be able to see much of the white border anyway. I think I think that's a good call. I'm gonna count these and stuff tomorrow, probably. Not tonight. I'm too tired. Too tired.